what's going on guys Nick here from Akari Gaming bringing you a new video today um, it's gonna be another unboxing and it's actually something that I've been waiting for for about a month now and that of course is gonna be my brand new Battle Beaver controller and if you don't know Akari Gaming is partnered with Battle Beaver um, we have been the last three years it is by far my favorite controller out there like they are the best company I don't want to hear anything about scuff because scuff they don't when it comes to craftsmanship like they don't even come close those controllers break after a year battle beavers last what seems like forever actually here's my original purchase I ever made from battle beaver when we first got partnered up with them this controller is three years old so the only modifications that I've done like in three years are I've had to replace the thumbsticks once and then I went ahead and just threw, uh, the one thing that Scuff did have that I really did enjoy were the Scuff grips, and they fit perfect, and I just bought those and threw on this, but, yeah, this is my very first purchase from Battle Beaver, um, let me zoom this in real quick, as you can see, like, you can get, uh, customized, like, home buttons or whatever, oh, it is not, Ooh, there we go, and that's just the Akara Gaming logo in the center. But yeah, that's my very first purchase three years ago. It lasted me three years. And honestly, it's still good. Um, the only thing I need to do is I'm going to send it in for a repair. Just because my smart trigger on the right side, I think is finally, it's having some issues. But let's be honest, it's been three years of like daily usage. so And it still looks great. But yeah, that's my old controller. Just wanted to show you guys that. Three years old. And like I said, I'll send this thing in, get some my smart triggers looked at, and boom, be back to new. But right here, brand new controller. Uh, I wanted to upgrade, you know, I wanted to get a brand new one, see if anything's changed. I know they had some different like colorings and uh, I think a few new features. So I went ahead and ordered one, and it's finally arrived. Took a little bit of time, but like as I've noticed, uh, Battle Beaver is really busy. They're slinging out controllers every single day if you look on their Twitter page. So, no worries. And when they shipped it out, it literally took two days with their uh, priority mail. So, that was nice. Anyway, let's get right into this and I'll uh, show you what it looks like. First time I've seen it. And uh, hopefully it looks great and I'll be excited about it. I already know I will be. But let's go ahead and open it up. What do we got here? Alright. Unleash uh, the beaver. Alright, let's open this up. I'm excited. Oh boy. Going on Neanderthal style on this thing. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about, yo. Oh my. Oh my. And of course batteries. Is there anything down here I need to worry about? No, just your standard papers. Oh boy. Dropped a couple things. Business card. And it looks like it dropped a mini Battle Beaver sticker. And then on this card literally just tells you your order and everything that you uh, purchased so we'll go through that later but right now woo, hoo, hoo. check it out that is the new controller purple shell uh, purple buttons um, I decided to do the white thumbsticks again here let me try to focus this a little bit I decided to do the white thumbsticks and then I went ahead and instead of the team logo, I went with my personal logo, Car Warlord. But yeah. And then on the back, um, one of the main differences was on this controller, I did both the back, so like A and B. But what I've noticed is like, I don't, I don't know, just the way I am, I don't use the left side, like I, my, I just never use the back buttons on the left side. So I only did one for the right, and that's more for, like, you know, drop shotting and stuff like that. And the difference on this controller is, you'll notice, is 
This is like the original Xbox controller, as you can tell from like the panel up here. And on this one, this is for like the I'm guessing the new like the new X model or the S model. Forgot which one's out, but it's definitely a different controller. So, Whew, that is nice. I am very happy with that. So there's a comparison. <clears throat> I think they call this like the soft purple, and this is just like your regular purple and white. But boom, check that out. And then I did all black on the back side. So on this one, still have, oh, listen to that click. That's your triggers. Those are the triggers. So those that's what like your smart triggers should sound like. Totally different from scuff. You know, you have like the trigger stops where it, it goes all the way down, but it's like you're clicking on a mouse. Whew, that is clean. All right, I'm very excited for that. And then I also got like the smart bumpers, which if you hear that, it's also it's kind of like similar to the smart trigger. I'm assuming. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I ever got it on on this one. I might have. That's I'm not I'm not sure. It's been three years. Can't tell you exactly everything I had on that one. Oh, uh, what else do we have? Oh, I might need to put the batteries in because I'm pretty sure. I added an LED on the home. So here, let me put the batteries in this real quick and we'll start her up. So it's gonna be hard to tell up the lighting in my room, but it's glowing. Pur it's a purple color. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to tell. Let's see if I can. It looks a little blue on screen, but I can assure you, it's uh, it's purple. Like I said, you still have the standard uh, back button on the right side, so that's mapped for my. That's mapped for B. And then I went ahead and got the dome stick on the right side. I love the dome sticks. And that's the only thing I hated about Scuff. Like they did their own like uh, their own their own sticks, so their own analog sticks. But I just I don't think their grips is good. It's de their uh, dome sticks are definitely not even close to like the old school like PS2 style PS3. Like I said, purple everything, purple purple custom logo purple but listen to those triggers this is it, all right another thing sorry i'm jumping around so i'm just pretty excited about this the thing the two things that i would say make the battle beaver superior to the scuff are a the thumbsticks which is, means i can get the, the the tension that's what i'm trying to say you can get the tension like stronger so like on an x regular xbox one controller from like scuff they're always really loose. This goes back to like the 360 style like tension on your analog sticks. So it's a little bit more tension, it's a little bit like easier to aim. And uh, that's just something that Scuff just hasn't done yet. And then, like I said, the smart triggers are far superior to any like trigger stop that uh, Scuff has. And you know, I, it's been a little bit since I've looked at Scuff's website, but I can pretty much assure you that they still haven't gotten smart triggers. And I know for a fact that they have not helped on the tension increase for the analog sticks. It's just these two features alone for console players, you know, like these are the best features you can get for these controllers. Higher tension and the smart triggers. And like I said, I haven't tried the smart bumpers yet, but I'm pretty excited to do that too. And what else do I have, guys? I didn't get it remapped. Oh, they're called uh, Impulse Trigger Rumbles. Oh, no, Enabled. Uh... And I didn't get no grip. The one thing I don't like about Battle Beaver, and it's not really I don't like, it's I wish they would, uh, they would kind of do something like this. Get their own grip. They offer, like, Wicked Grips, which is kind of like a squid grip, but like when you get a customized controller, you know, when you get it all colored, like, the last thing I want to do is put a grip on it that, like, covers it all up. So that's just my preference. So if they do ever like add a grip similar to like scuffs like this, 
it's like game over. It's game over. And um, another thing that makes Battle Beaver different, if you're like a Nintendo player and you're playing Smash or like uh, Melee and all that, they do customized controllers for that too. And from like what I've heard, they are definitely the shit. And you should probably check them out if that's your game preference. But yeah. Sorry guys, like I said, I'm just excited. Uh, it's really early. I've been all over the place with this review. But that is my Battle Beaver controller. And just like I said, three year difference. Three years, man. This thing's still good. Just needs new smart triggers and it'd be perfect. So like I said, the craftsmanship on this controller is just far superior. I've had a total of three scuffs. Two have broken within the first six months. The other one's still good, and that's because I haven't used it. I've literally like used it once, and that's my PS4 scuff, and I've literally used it once because I don't really play PS4 that much. And like I said, the two Xbox ones I had might have got six months out of them before things started breaking down in them. And like I said, the trigger stops that they have and the stock uh, tension on the analog sticks just weren't my thing. And so moving over to Battle Beaver... That's exactly what I needed. Uh, tension, smart triggers, and it's just, you know it's still a good-looking uh, controller. I do love like you can customize your home button there, and like I said, you can add LEDs to it. So it's really like anything you want you can do here. And um, the button still like people. Uh, I think they're stuck on the triggers, but I've come to like the conclusion that the buttons are actually just as good. Because, like, on my grip, my thumb is going to sit literally right on it. That's not, that's me clicking in the back. So, I don't know. I think people think the triggers are... are uh, the little triggers are... So, what am I trying to say? The little handles are like... Here we go. You know, the Scuff Pro sticks. I think they think these are uh, superior, but they really aren't, man. Like, your finger placement. And, like, he can put these anywhere that you want. I actually went up high... That's just the way my hand rests on it, so you can go all the way down below. But like my finger literally will just rest right on that, and it's just normal gaming for me. Oh man, those smart triggers, dope. Anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, sticking around for this entire video. I know I rambled a lot and this went all over, but um, if you do want to like check out Battle Beaver, I'll leave the link below. And um, Akara Gaming does have its own customized code. It's just Akara. And uh, you'll save 5%, and then I do make a few bucks off that. But I can assure you that this is the best, you know, for me, Xbox controller. I haven't bought a PS4 or Nintendo one. But when it comes to Xbox, this is by far the, the superior product, just because, like I said, can't emphasize it enough, the analog stick tension and the smart triggers. And um, if you had a 360... Like the tension I have now on my controller, it's like the same, it's the stock for a 360 controller was. So if you pick that up, you'll know that like a 360 controller had more tension in the sticks than the Xbox One. And that's what I set this to. But you can also go a little uh, further and make it a little more harder on the, on the tension. But yeah, guys, uh, thanks for checking this out. I appreciate it. Um, I'll leave some links in the description below for you guys to check out Battle Beaver for yourself. But yeah, I'm happy. Happy customer again. Can't wait to use this on some Call of Duty tonight. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. Bye.